looking for somebody who's young who could develop into into a player that could dominate the midfield for you and control it for you. Well, I may have the guy for you. What's happening, folks? And welcome to an episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FN 2022 series where we look at some young talent on the football manager and we see how they get on the course of their career. Both players that I pick that I'm curious about and I think are really good gems for you. Also, players you give me in the comments section. So if you've got a player you want me to look at in the comments section, leave his name and as much detail as you can about him so I can find him and can do a review on him. Or, even better, join Discord and there's plenty of ways to get involved in there and also including requests in there so you can, I see the instantly. I would have, have a discussion as well. Don't forget, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Down below my other channels down below, which are my uh, FIFA channel and my Let's Play channel. So today, guys, looking at a player called Samuel Ricky, uh, a young Italian midfielder who I think's got a lot of great potential, and I think this guy could be absolutely fantastic. Already, he's worth, he's worth 43 to 61 million pounds. The only downside is that he's on loan at um, Torino in the first season, so you can't actually sign him in the first season. Also. New microphone settings, let me know how they sound. They should sound a lot crisper. My voice is a bit hoarse at the minute. Um, I've got some sweets here, which are um, Fox's Glacier Fruits, to try and just um, get my throat um, dry, uh, you know, not too sad, too, too sore, so you guys can, I can still make video for, videos for you guys in the next few days. So, let me know how they, how they sound. So, I've done this kind of report for you for him. I do mention that every single time, because it's just, because it's consistent. He has a potential rate of 180. Um, he's, he's actually came out 176 as a default, so I could hit that. Um, he's got two and a half star current ability, maybe even four star potential. A lot of pros to this guy. Very consistent. Don't understand my making good athlete. Uh, passing over his technical prowess, um, natural club positions, and he's adaptable to the new country. And again, it feels like every single one's got a high has to work in the has to work in his department, but it's not a big issue for me personally. So we've got on his player traits, he's reasonable on his left foot, and he's very good on his right, very strong on his right foot. He gets for him he can, dictates tempo, tries long his passes, and runs with the ball often. So straight away you're looking at this here and thinking, right, passing technique, great. Vision's not bad either. That helps. Long shots 12, first uh, touch 14, dribbling 12. If that physicality develops and that dribbling gets even higher, you've got a, we've got a really good player here. So, um, has he got any of his contract that um, could actually? Be done? So you've got to be so we've got one one fee here for Torino for seven point two five million pounds. So they could sign him for that if they decide they want to keep him. So bear that in mind with this guy. Um, keep an eye on it i don't know whether we're whether scouting him and saying you want to sign him at some point will make it so, he, so it, it makes it so that if trino don't want if trino wants him but you actually want him as well he goes no i'm going to turn that down to go to a bigger club you could try that i it could, that could that could work so guys let's go to the first jump and let's see how he develops in the first few years all right folks so now he's back at he's back at empoli uh, I, I, might say, I might have said Napoli before and straight away look at him absolutely fantastic um, look at the physicality it looks brilliant um, it looks very, very, very well balanced look at the mental stats and he's only 22 years old this guy is an absolute beast and I think this guy is somebody you should look to sign in your saves um, interested in, interest for him from Man United and Newcastle, no big surprise there for me personally. Vision great, technique great, passing great, first look brilliant, long shot's gone up higher, dribbling up to 14, he's got the strength and the physicality there, the pace isn't bad either. I don't see a downside this guy really, other than maybe he's not got, he's not got amazing, um, I, I, I can't say negative, I really can't, uh, maybe... <sighs> The issue, I don't know, he has to be close to get straws. So player traits, still relatively, relatively the same. What's his injury record like? No in one injury for a bruised knee. So he's not even got a lot of injuries, which is fantastic. Career stats. So Torino is on loan there, as you, as you saw. And then you have a period um, 
as you can see here you've got like three and seven three and 16 assists five and six so he's, he's only 22 years old so we've not gone too far ahead at this point but this kid is absolutely amazing um i want to see how much he goes goes for uh he's got a minimum lease clause of 68 million pounds for general league clubs so bear that in mind that could happen in your save as well i want to see this guy move to with a transfer fee uh i want to see how much he goes for if he doesn't go if he doesn't go for the release clause Oh, it's taken out. How much it goes? How much it goes up to? Let's find out. All right, folks. Twenty-six years old. He's now at Real Madrid, and don't need to do anything else than show you this, the stats of this guy. He looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the only downside to him is he's probably cost you a lot of money to get this guy out of uh, the club. Will be dear club. Um, now look at the history, the history, the history here. As you can see injuries not too bad at all. Very good in fact. Nothing that concerning me at all. So Empoli, he did very well uh, there. Getting a lot of football, get, getting time. Then goes to Real Madrid for sixty-seven million pounds. Gets four and one, then four and eleven, eight and sixteen, six and seventeen. Definitely more of a creative player. But those long, those long, shots, long shots are 15, so there could be a, a Mazzala roll in there for him. Um, now, of course, we could, if you want to do it at some point in these reviews, let me know in the comment section. An idea I've had is to jump in at this point and see what roles he's suited for. Um, obviously, it won't affect the, the development of the player because it's already been, been, sim been simulated and done. But I can jump in here at this point and show you, if you want in the future, what roles as uh, best for. In fact, let's do it now. Let's just do what. Let's just do it now. So add a manager, and we'll do. Oh, actually, can I do it? I think I can do it. I'll take over. I'll take over Manchester United again, uh, and I'll literally just um, scout him again. And show you the roles that he, unless unless he's so good, he's on he's on the uh, the list now. So let's have a look. There we go. So deep line playmaker, a advanced playmaker, uh, Mazala. Is he suited for that role? Yeah, he could play Mazzara. Well. So we, we could do this, guys, as well. We could take we could take over the club as well and do the same we did at the start of the review as well uh, uh, going forward. Let me know, guys, that's something, that's something you'd want. I'm willing to do that. Right, one more jump. I mean, this guy, is look at the passing, the first touch. Everything's fantastic. Let's continue, guys, and see how he gets on. If he can keep those double-figure assists record up. Right, folks, he's set up Real Madrid. Um, and again, look at the physicality. He's still very good at 30 years old slightly dropping down maybe a little bit in technical snap but he's getting older that may happen injury record he's very very good uh, and not being injured that is a big plus for him in this so you look at the here so you got 8 and 16 6 and 17 9 and 14 5 and 10 6 and 11 and 6 and 14 the guy's a machine in terms of creating goals and i think he's got more goals than him himself scoring if you get him into the attacking areas of the pitch a bit more especially in mazala role uh, definitely. Plus side, the, the downside to him, he's the only one downside to him really, and that's the transfer fee is quite high. But the, port, the quality you're getting for that transfer fee is not that. It's insanely good. So it, it, it's one of those. If you, if you structure it in a certain way, um, then you can maybe do better. If you're Torino, I would pay this money and get him. Because if you're managing Torino and you want to get a player in, uh, to, to sell on or keep you know, we, we this is a guy for you even if you don't end up keeping him the money you'll get for it for, for him potentially will be massive for your for your team to be built upon so i would definitely sign this guy if you've signed him yourself or you've seen him in your save let me know in the comment section how he's got on if you if you and also how if you if you're going to sign him now let me know as well in the comment section if you've got a player you want me to look at in these in these videos down below in the description you in this comment section so you can leave a comment with the player you want to look at or in discord and get involved in that so all the things we've got going on in there as well so if you have enjoyed i hope you have hit the like button down below hit subscribe as well for daily content for my channel's channel every day in your inbox down below my fifa channels down below and my let's play channel let me know about the audio uh, of my microphone it's brand new settings uh, using some plugins let me know how you think about those so until next time thank you so much for watching